Walker and welcome back to All About Nails. So today we are going to talk about my favorite Zoya polishes that were released in 2018. Um, before we talk about today's video, I do want to acknowledge the fact that I am in a new filming space right now. Um, it's actually just another wall in my room um, where I do my hobbies and my filming. We used to have a guest bed in here and I moved it out because we never have guests that need to stay um, the night. Our friends all live fairly close and most of our family lives fairly close too actually. Um, and so we got rid of the guest bed and if anybody wants to stay here they can sleep on the couch or we'll get an air mattress it'll be fine and so i got a new desk and a set of alex drawers which i'll show you another time they're over here um and i also got to position this right in front of a window so i'm curious to see i think my lighting will be a little bit better here um it will make me film you know in the daytime which might mean that it's more batch filming on the weekends um because when i get home it is dark outside <laughs> um but i think that it will kind of give my videos a better lighting. So I'm curious to see how this goes. Let me know what you think of this new setup um, compared to my last one or if you have any suggestions um, or feedback. So I'm doing a two-part video series here to kind of help you start to think about what polishes you might want to pick up in Zoya's Black Friday sale if you're planning on picking some up. And so today's video is the first video in that series. It is which polishes from 2018 from Zoya I thought are the best that you should add to your collection. Um, and then the next video in the series is going to be my kind of go-to Zoyas, like the Zoyas that I think make my collection complete. Um, I don't know yet the details of Zoya's Black Friday sale. I'm filming this um, in the first week of November and it'll probably go up in the next couple days. So maybe in the next couple days they'll release what the details of that sale are. And once they do, I will add it to the description box down below. But for now, let's talk about my favorite Zoya polishes from 2018. So when I was planning this video, I didn't want to set myself any like number restrictions. So I didn't say I'm going to pick five or 10 or 15. Um, and I didn't set myself any kind of collection restrictions. You know, I didn't want to say I have to pick one from each collection. I just looked at the list of all the colors that were released in 2018 and said, which ones of these stick out to me? Which ones do I remember trying and loving? Which ones have I worn multiple times if they were released earlier in the year? Um, I just try to think through, you know, what really spoke to me. So I'm just gonna go chronologically um, and tell you a little bit about when the polish was released and what I love about it. So the first polish that I wanna talk about is Brighton. And Brighton, um, I recently wore this in a Paint My Nails With Me video and it took me a long time to wear this because that video, um, I just filmed like at the end of October, beginning of November, one of those two, and this was released in Zoya's Bridal Bliss collection that was at the beginning of the year, and it was also in the mystery box. So the way that this came about was it was actually the only new polish released in the Bridal Bliss collection. All of the other polishes in that set or that promotion were um, just being re-promoted. They were already colors in Zoya's line, but this was a new one. Uh, and people got this first in the mystery box where, I don't remember exactly what the deal was, but I think you had to buy it in December and it got shipped in January maybe, um, but you paid you know some amount and you got this like mystery box of things and they all came with Brighton. Um, I will say this is not my favorite of Zoya's scattered holographic polishes. It's not my favorite. Um, it's a little more muted. The hollow doesn't like quite stick out as much, but what I love about this polish is that it is a scattered hollow and they released a new one <laughs> and it gives me hope that they will continue to release new polishes in this finish because I think it is a spectacular finish. Um, so like I said, if I was comparing this to all of the rest of their scattered hollows, not that incredible, but given that it is a new one and it was released this year, I think if you don't have this in your collection from 2018, I would grab it. And then in the spring, Zoya had two releases. They had the Thrive collection, which was their spring 2018 collection. It had a lot of pinks and blues and maybe like a little kind of purple. Um, I think there was a special topper in there. Um, and then they also released three jelly polishes. And I actually picked one for both the Thrive collection and the jelly release. So from the jellies, there were three pastel kisses jellies. And the one that I just fell in love with was Vicky. Um, I actually, I think I own one of the others, but I don't own all three. Vicky is the gray jelly and it's like a, 
it's like a purple gray so it's a little soft it's really like juicy on the nails and I just think that uh, a neutral polish like this in the jelly finish is so interesting and so wearable it's gorgeous it's buildable I think I could wear like a jelly sandwich with this and it would be totally appropriate not super blingy just gorgeous um so i really love vicky i wear it built up in two coats sometimes three coats um but i i love this one i absolutely love this one i think you could wear it all year long in any occasion and then from the thrive collection my favorite polish in that collection when i saw the collection when i swatched the ones that i owned my favorite is darby and i actually didn't pick this up in the thrive collection i waited i got it in the earth day sale i think or like around that time. I got it in a sale for sure. Um, the Thrive Collection was not thrilling to me and I was not making videos at that point in time. So I thought I have no reason to buy this collection and swatch all the polishes. Um, now, you know, I would buy it because I would want to make a video about it. Um, but at that point in time, I was not that excited by the collection. So I didn't buy the whole thing. Um, I did pick up Darby a couple months later and I'm so glad I did. Darby is spectacular it's a really like soft gray blue it reminds me you know of like Kristen those like blue creams that are kind of on the gray spectrum um, but it has a really beautiful blue shimmer in here and the blue shimmer oh, I don't even know how to describe it it's like a like a royal blue shimmer it's really bright and it is spectacular and on the nail it's not like super glittery. Like if you look at it quickly, you're not gonna say, wow, there's blue shimmer in there. But it just gives it this really like soft, ethereal sheen. And it's so nice to wear. I think that I love this in the spring. I will wear this in the winter. It's, it's really soft, it's really wearable. And you know, just unique. It's like a cream, but with a little bit extra. All right, moving into the summer collection. The summer collection this year was the Sunshine Collection. And I, when I first saw this collection, again, I was kind of like, Meh. it's like a lot of pink and it's a lot of purple and they didn't do a promotion from what I remember and so I did not pick up the whole thing um they did do several smaller sales over the summer they did like their July 4th sale and then they did like a buy three for 15 and so I did pick up most of the polishes from this collection in those sales over the course of the summer uh, but I did not buy the whole collection at once I think I'm now only missing like one or two from the collection uh, and I will probably grab those in the Black Friday sale that's coming up. But the one that I loved and that I grabbed the minute I saw it was Virginia. Virginia is this really gorgeous red toned coral, which I think are my favorite colors to wear in the summer. Absolutely. Um, there are other polishes in Zoya's collection that are close to this. So Sonja and Dixie are really, really close. I think Sonja is from like two summers ago or maybe even last summer. <laughs> so they're very close in color. Um, but these colors are just so beautiful to wear and to me this was just so interesting in the summer collection It wasn't just a straight pink or straight purple or straight red. It was really interesting So I love Virginia and this one is opaque for me in two coats And I think probably next year it'll be opaque in one coat once it's thickened up a little bit All right, and somehow I did end up picking a favorite from the element collection when I set out to plan this video, I was like, I'm not gonna make myself pick one from every collection because I probably don't have one from the element collection because it was so stinking boring. Uh, turns out that that's wrong. I actually do have a favorite from that collection. And if you saw my review of that collection, uh, you might be able to guess which one it is. I also wore this polish in like five videos that I filmed in November because I just loved it and I put it on and I didn't want to take it off. Uh, so this is Rachel. Rachel is the super like red toned purple, this like really deep purple that was in this collection. And it's not what I'm wearing on my nails right now. What I'm wearing on my nails right now is Tara. And Tara is close. It's a little bit more purple than Rachel is. Rachel is definitely a red toned color and it looks like you dumped your fingers in Merlot or something. It's gorgeous. Um, so I did a review of this collection so you can see more <laughs> up close of this polish if you want to, but I absolutely love this color. It is perfect for fall. It's perfect for winter. It's just stunning. And it's not super unique in Zoya's collection. Like you might have a color that is close to this. If you have Anja in my color comparisons video, I'll, I'll talk about Anja and this a little bit closer. Um, they are very close, but I still think it's worth getting this one if you like these shades. It's beautiful. 
Awesome. So I have two polishes from the Jubilee collection, which was their winter holiday 2018 collection that I absolutely loved. Um, one is a cream and one is a glitter fun color. And so one is like, you can wear it all the time. And one is like, you want to bust it out just for New Year's Eve. Uh, so the cream that I picked is Danica. And this is the one that I think when people saw this in the promotions for this collection, they went wild. They said, it's gorgeous. It's so unique. It's so different. And it really is. It's so different in Zoya's collection. It's so gorgeous in Zoya's collection. It does stain a little bit, um, but if you're okay with that, I definitely think you should pick this up because it is a stunning cream. It is pretty much opaque in one coat. It's just gorgeous. This teal is the perfect balance of blue and green. It's, I think Zoe described it as like a new holiday green and that's totally what it is. Like you could wear this to a Christmas Eve service. You could wear it to a Hanukkah party. You could wear it to New Year's Eve. It's just perfect. It's such a gorgeous teal. So I would suggest picking this one up if you haven't already. And then the last of my favorites from 2018 is Astrid. And Astrid is from the Jubilee collection as well. So I did pick two from this collection. And Astrid is, oh, I don't know. It's just a beautiful, it's this perfectly wearable gold in my opinion. It's not too yellow. It's like a little bit brassy. It's so beautiful and you can wear it built up in two coats to pretty much opacity. You could probably top it over something and it would give you just a hint of color underneath because it's not really a topper. It's, it's stunning. It's a really beautiful, totally wearable gold. And this is gonna be in my like holiday favorites video. This is gonna be in a couple more favorites because I am just in love with this polish. I like Ziv, I, I like Ziv, which is their you know other foil gold polish. The challenge for me in wearing Ziv is really the challenge that I have in wearing any foil polish. They're just so like uniform. Like I'm not somebody who can wear a chrome and a foil polish to me is just really hard to pull off. Whereas Astrid has enough that's kind of a broken up texture. It's got enough interest and dimension that I think it's really wearable, even though I'm not someone who likes to wear a ton of like metallic-y flashy polishes. So I love this one. I think it would be great as a full manicure, as an accent nail for the holidays, whatever you wanna do. I think this one's stunning. Awesome, so those were my top picks from Zoya's 2018 releases. Uh, if they have any magical secret releases between now and the end of the year, maybe something else will come out, who knows? Uh, but for now, those are the polishes that I love from this year's releases. I would love to hear what your favorites were from this year's collections. I think although a lot of the collections seemed like they had a lot of repeat and very similar colors, uh, there were some standouts. There were some absolutely fabulous polishes this year and I would love to hear what your favorites are or if you're planning to pick up any of these in the sale, let me know what your plans are. Definitely hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this, especially my upcoming video on the Zoya polishes that are my go-to in my collection. And I look forward to talking to you in the next one.